Why hello there everyone and welcome back. I'm your host today, Mr. Mobile, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial that was brought up by one of you guys, you wanna use asked me, could I do a tutorial on how to make a color switch map? And here I am doing a tutorial on it. Before we start, as you can see, I'm wearing the brand new back bling in the Fortnite item shop. And I just wanna put a little ad in there. Why don't you go ahead and use Sport Creator Code Mobile Dash Scrap? It helps me out, and we need to hit a goal before the end of the year so I can keep uploading maps and all that good stuff, I think, anyway. But yeah, pretty cool back bling, pretty cool set. And anyway, let's get into the video. So, you're going to obviously need to get your colors, and that's pretty simple. All you gotta do is you gotta go to parkour here and you've got black you've got blue you've got green you've got more black you've got orange purple red i suppose that's yeah it is purple and you've got white so we're going to go ahead and each of these and grab the floor you can grab any floor it doesn't matter i'm going to be grabbing the first floor piece of information here guys black and white is not a color no 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 black and white is a shade i know that because i don't hurt but anyway, let's go ahead and just build a little pillar up here so we can actually kind of have an area to fight in. So we got ourselves a little box, but no way, is this like actually a box? We got five that way, five that way. It was complete guess and I actually made a box. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to go ahead then and just place down floors here randomly. Yeah, let's just like, like, you know, select them completely random here. Make sure though you don't have colors, like really, like if I put a red here, that's going to be pretty bad having a red right there. And then putting the black here is pretty bad as well, because you could just be in between both of these. You want them to be kind of far apart from each other. So let's go ahead and put a white down, we haven't got a white yet. Put another orange there, why not? And we'll put a purple. Okay, so now we've got all those placed out and we've got this kind of messed up looking disco floor here. Then of course you're going to either want to put some kind of barrier along this wooden bit or else some walls. Okay, so that is the course basically all made out. You would start here and you would walk around and stuff, you know? Now the next thing you're going to need is a tile trap, or I think that's what's called, so you type in tile. Trick tile, okay. To trick tile, yeah. We're gonna need actually one more, which falls on the floor. But anyway, let's go ahead and put these all underneath the floor here. These are gonna be what breaks the floor. You're coming with me. You're gonna be the last ones. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got all those placed down. Now the thing we're gonna need next is actually this here device, the random number generator, and we're also going to need a trigger. Once we've got those, that is really everything you're going to need, except for one more, which is the grind power-up. Weird name, because it's chips, and I uh, don't know what grinding's got to do with chips, but oh well. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. I'm going to put him on the grid one, so I can get him nice and flat here. We're going to go into this guy, and we're going to set the value to 7. Winning value does not matter, but we're going to put it to 0. Rolling time, let's go ahead and put this to 10 seconds. Pick each number once. No. Reset delay. Let's go ahead and put that on 5 seconds. Now you're going to want to turn zone on. It doesn't really matter what way. We're going to do forwards. And it doesn't even really in here you need to change. Except, you're going to go down here and activate and receiving from channel 1. On when, transmit on channel 1. Because, on when, if you put this to zero, any number that's above zero is a win, anything that's zero or below is a lose. And you can't get anything lower than a one with this device, so you're always going to get a winning score. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the triggers here, I'm going to put this onto a grid of four. I'm going to go into here, and we're going to make it trigger on channel two, and we're going to disable the sound of VFX, why not? And we're going to bring these across here. Three, four, very exciting stuff here, guys. Number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. 
No, that's all we'll set up. Why is there eight? One, one, two, oh, oh wait, no, it's channel eight, stupid me. Another device, if you wanted to bring up what color it's going to be on the screen, you could either use the HUD message device, which is what I'm going to use, or else the billboard device, which I'll just show a wee bit. So some of these maps have like boards on each corner, kind of like this here, where there's a big, big board, like a three by two on each side, and it'll bring up what color it is. But that's kind of easy when you're in here and you're like, oh wait, what color did it bring up on my screen? Well, let's just look up. Oh, green? Okay, that's pretty simple. Then let's go ahead to green. So I don't really like using those. I just like using the HUD message device. But it's going to be the exact same settings. So I'll just show you them here. So if it was set visible when receiving from. And then you're going to place another one down here. And it's going to trigger from channel 1 and transmit on channel 9. And make sure it has a delay of about five seconds then in here if it was this or else this device here it would go into this and we would do channel 2 and disappear on channel 9 and we would go in here and write green so we got green there that's going that would appear on the screens and you do that for every color so it would be um, make appear on channel 3 on channel 4 channel 5 and so on the HUD message device, on the other hand, is you would type in the color, green. Oh, wow. You go in here, show them seeing from two, um, disappear when I'm seeing from nine. And you could make it permanent, I suppose. You won't need this channel nine one if you do a HUD message device. You could just make it be three seconds on your screen, but let's do permanent and we'll see how that there works. Now, I like to put it on extra large so people can see it. And you can change all the sounds and stuff yourself. So now we've got green. Let's go ahead and do the rest. Red. Change it to three. We'll go here so it's easier to see them. Blue. Why not? Blue. Change it to four. Purple. Change it to five. Orange. Change it to six. Black. To seven. To eight. And then put white. And that's the random number generating all done now as you've got that set up you're going to go into these and actually i would recommend do putting that one there down with the channel 9 on it because this next step is going to be very handy so i'm going to go ahead and just copy these all down and you'll see in a minute why i'm doing that we'll bring these down all the way down then fine so i can look down rather than flying up and seeing the color i can just look down and see the color of so this one's black what color is black Trigger when receiving from channel 7. That's way too high. Reset when receiving from channel 9. So I'm going to go ahead, guys, and do these all. It's basically the same. So this would be channel 7. This would be channel, I don't know, 4, is it? I, I think blue is 4. But you understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and do all these. And I'll see once I've got that done. And there we have it, we've finally got them all done. Now we just have to get the ice feet, which is what this device comes into being. And we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a player spawn pad, which is right here. We'll put you right there, buddy. Let's grab this here player spawn pad. When player spawns, you're going to want to set that transmit on channel 10. Go into this guy. Pick up and receiving from channel 10. And we're going to make effect duration infinite. Time to respawn instant, I guess. We're not going to be picking these all up on the floor, you know. We're just going to be... Yeah, there we go. Apply to all players. Epic stuff. 
and we're gonna leave the french fries down here with the rest of these devices there you go let's go into this here enable during all you can change that yourself but we're going to need to make it invisible there we go and then just place about 16 of these yay or one in each color why not and there we have it there is color switch let's go ahead and start it and play it and guys before we actually do go ahead and try it there's one more thing we got to change in this we have to make this roll as soon as the game starts activate on game phase we're going to go ahead and put that on game start now we can go ahead and start the game and it will work i don't know why i just got half health there that is a glitch bug whatever okay so it's rolling purple we back out So, um, yeah, there's how you make inverted color switch, I guess. <laughs> okay, so there is obviously a wee step that I miscalculated, which, um, I don't know how I didn't see that coming. We're going to go ahead, grab these, just put them above at the map. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go actually and put this onto this. And we're going to put these on top of each other like this, and you'll see why in a second. Doesn't matter if they're very straight or not. I'm just going to put them nice and unneat. Now this here, what I'm doing is just making a quality of life change. So we've got all those done. Now hold on a second, mister. There we go. So now we've got all of those set out. We've got channel 2 all the way to channel 8, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. We're going to go ahead and delete these ones that we did do earlier, and delete this one. Now we're going to go ahead and place these on each section. So we're going to go ahead and place all these there, all of them 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 there, and all of them there. So now we've got all these triggers. Now we're going to delete this one, on that one, that one, and that one, that one, and that one, that one, that one, that one, and lastly that one. So we've all got missing ones. So that one's missing green, that one's missing red, that one's missing blue, that one's missing purple, that one's missing orange, that one's missing black, and that one is missing white. Yes, I have unfortunately memorized all of them fantastic now if we do it that way it's going to trigger every single one of these hud devices which is not what we want so we're going to go ahead and grab another trigger and go into here and we're going to make it transmitted on a brand new channel which will be channel 11 then we're going to go in here change it over to channel 12 channel 13 channel 14 Channel 15, channel 16, and last but not least, channel 17. Then we're going to go ahead into all of these tasks thingies here and change this to 11, and this one to 12, and this one to 13, and this one to 14, and this one to 15, and this one to 16, and the lastly, this one to 17. Then another step that I crucially missed out on is actually being able to die on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves one of the newer devices, the damage volume trap. We'll go ahead and place that down. It doesn't matter if you use this one or the older one. We'll place that down there. Change the width and all that too. And then after that you're going to want to copy the entire wall around here. Here. make sure you haven't selected anything but the wall and I think that's it we'll uh, bring these down and they won't be able to escape from that anyway but that's just basically making us so if someone drops out of say this orange here they couldn't just fall out the side they'll fall into the trap and die now that you have all set up so let's go ahead and start the game and if you want to really know go to my island here go to game and make it so last standing ends game. So at once there's only one player left on it, the game will end. I won't do it with mine because I'm the only person here though. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here and make it activate when receiving from channel nine. 
And guys, when I was testing it as well, you might have noticed it brought up the color as soon as the colors disappeared. The reason for that is because in each of these, you're meant to also have a delay of like five seconds or whatever. So we're going to have a lot of fun doing that now. Yeah. All right, we're doing this again for the again this time. All right, we're here checking the place out. Black. No. Game, you're kind of broke. Game. Well, what we're going to do here to fix it is we're going to go ahead into creative here. Go into devices. And we're going to go ahead and grab sequencers. We'll grab seven sequencers. Well, we've got ten now. And each sequencer is going to go ahead and trigger each trigger. Four, five, six, seven. So Fortnite Creative does have some limitations to stuff which is really, really annoying. But oh well. Now we're going to go ahead and copy all those ones. Copy all of those ones. Copy these ones. And those ones. So that's 42 triggers plus another 7 that that thing would have had to trigger. Which is uh, actually quite a lot. So um, instead we're going to go ahead and uh, put them in here. Separately. And then make it so when the triggers go off, and that's inside the random number generator, it will trigger off these. Go ahead into here, start sequence when receiving from channel 11, channel 12, channel 13, channel 14, channel 15, channel 16, and last but not least, channel 17. And this is all set up so it only has none, no loop, so it will only go once across and no more. So let's go ahead and start at nine. So we're in here once again, and we're going to wait for the choose color for us. Purple! Oh boy. And there we go. So that's quite unfortunate the random number generator thing doesn't work as well as that. Orange, unfortunately, mister, thinks I'm spawning. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, dokey, we got that again. I'm such a pro, guys. So yeah, just tweak around with the timing on these things, and I'm sure you will find some way to do it. But timing is all that matters. That's basically how you make color switch in Fortnite Creative? Anyway, I'm your host today, Mr. Mobile. Remember to use code MOBILE-SCRAP in the item shop. And I'll see you in the next one. And guys, before I go, if you're wondering why I always add mistakes and stuff in the tutorials, I always just like to show that I'm not perfect. I don't know every single thing about Fortnite Creative. I like showing my mistakes in the makings rather than saying, oh yeah, I knew this straight off the bat. I like showing the progress of me actually creating the tutorial. So sorry if you're wondering why I do that, but that is the reason why. Anyway, as I said, I'm your host today, Mr. Mobile, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs>